Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I have a question from one of you guys and the question of the day is, should I date this guy whose ex-girlfriend is always around? Stay tuned. Alright fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So, should you date a guy whose ex-girlfriend is always around? So here's the story. The mom of the now boyfriend pretty much loves and adores his ex-girlfriend. And so at every holiday or any special gathering, the mom invites the ex-girlfriend over. And now you as the new girlfriend are wondering, should you continue this relationship with this guy? This guy seems to be into you. He's actually a pretty good guy. And so you're just having doubts about, should I stay? Should I go? What's happening here? So I have to say that my answer is really you have to look at this particular question on a case by case basis. This is not an answer that's going to be across the board, but there are definitely several things that you, my sister, need to think about and understand what's happening. So the very first thing that I would ask myself if I was in your shoes is, what are the insecurities about the ex-girlfriend being around the family and around the your boyfriend? What are the insecurities that you're having about that? Is it because they were once an item and maybe she can snatch him away? Is it because there is a potential for booty call because they kind of know each other, been there, done that? Is it because you think that your seat could be overthrown? Is it because he's actually giving you some things or some signs that you're feeling like something isn't right about the relationship? Like what, why are you having these insecurities? And have you discussed these things with your man? Another thing to consider is his mom. The mom could really just like the woman right? And she wants her to be around because she was her daughter-in-law, even if whether or not they were married or not, doesn't matter. She calls her her daughter. And so she wants her daughter to be around when it comes to family things that are happening. Also, the mom could have ulterior motives and she could be wanting to see them two get back together. And so she's always having the ex around because she's hoping that, you know, you'll your boyfriend will see the ex and some chemistry and things will spark up again and they will get together. And maybe she was hoping that those two would be together because she likes her. You know, she likes her like that. She thinks that she is a good fit for the family, also a good fit for your boyfriend. And she, she really wants them to be together. Um, so yes, definitely the mom could have ulterior motives. And then of course you got to think about the ex-girlfriend too. She also could have ulterior motives. She still could be, um, in love with the ex as well and want the relationship to work. So yes, those are things that you can think about and consider. However, when you are around, which is why I say a case by case basis, when you are around, when you are in their presence, what does the guy do? What does your boyfriend do? How does your boyfriend introduce you to his ex-girlfriend? How are they greeting each other? Is it just like a church hug or like, hey girl, or is it a handshake or is it a, what's up? Or, um, you know, is it a, like, like, you, you know the eyes that I'm talking about. Like, mm. like you know, he might, he might not be making the sounds, but as soon as he see her, he drop your hand. He's all about, like, he across the room with his eyes. He across the room. He's standing right next to you, but he across the room with his eyes because even though he knew that she's always going to be around right there is still something there between them. And your gut is telling you that something is there. So pay attention to what your gut is saying. Pay attention to their body language. Pay attention to how he introduces you. Pay attention to if he is... Um, like all up in her space, all up in her face the entire time. I'm not even saying that they can't even talk to each other, but you have to still pay attention to what's going on. If you feel something in your gut, sis, it probably is something that is still going on. Whether or not you could put your finger on it, that's the thing. 
Also, a thing that I would say to you is how are you conducting and handling yourself when you are there in their presence? Are you like trying to be up under him 24-7 because you don't want the ex to have no time, no type of time with your man? Or are you like intermingling with the family too to try, you know, just to try to have um other people to talk to so he's not the only person that you must be a part of do you feel uh, again i'll go back to the insecurities do you feel a little bit insecure because the mom his mom don't really particularly care for you and so you know that she you know again has the good graces with the ex so there again a lot of things that you have to consider this is not across the board how are you acting and also with that, how are you acting? Are you acting very insecure? Are you um, acting jealous? Or are you like cool, calm, and collected because you know who you are and you know what you bring to the table? Because trust me, trust me, if you act like the super crazy girlfriend, the super crazy jealous girlfriend, you could best believe that you will hardly be invited to any of the gatherings. Because he wants to see that you are secure in this situation. He wants to see how you perform under stress. Now, again, this is not the ideal situation. Like, we don't want our exes around. It's not the ideal situation. But how grown up and mature can you be in a situation like this? Another thing to consider is, is the ex around because they have children together? If they have children together... You know, that's something. If not, then I will understand. Like, I totally get the reasons why you're like, okay, should I do this or should not do this? However, you really have to go with your gut. The last thing that I'll say to consider is, is, is he or how much is he in contact with his ex? Does he despise his ex? Does he bash his ex? Or does he just be like, you know what? We didn't work out. Way work out, you know, moving on. Or, you know, you know what I'm saying? He actually could be honest with you and be like, you know what? My mom wishes that we're actually together, but that's not what my heart is. My heart is actually with you. I really, you know, that relationship didn't work out. He could even be honest and tell you, yes, I, the ex does still want to get with me. She is going to be there. And he just basically being very mature about the situation because if the mom is inviting him, it's because it is at the mom's house, right? So he can't tell his mom. I mean, he could, but because it's his mom, you know what I mean? Anyway, so the mom um, could be inviting her. I'm sorry. The mom is inviting her and not him. So as long as he's not inviting her, as long as he's not keeping in contact with her, and honestly, as long as he's not bashing her too, because if he's bashing her, he's really not over her. What again, what is the body language going on? Are they being flirtatious with each other? Is he being disrespectful? It's a lot of things to consider. If he's not, because your words is that he's actually a good guy and he definitely seems to be into you, your insecurities has to do with because the ex is actually going to be around. At the end of the day, if your man is not taking up for you and he's not putting people in their place, then definitely that is something to think about. Like, hmm, something ain't right here. Or this might not be the right fit for me. This situation might not be right for me. However, on the flip side of that, if he's checking everybody, putting them in their place, he's, he's grabbing your hand. He's like, listen, this is my boo. This is who I want to be with. I don't want to be with old girl no more. That's why we ain't together. You got you a winner. Pay attention. Think about how you two mesh together outside of his family and then think about how it is when you are around his family with the ex around those are all of the things to consider all right fam let's help the sis out down in the comment section below is there something that i missed that you would like to share with her have you ever been in a situation like this and you can actually share some of your wisdom and how you handled things when the ex was always around? And now this is outside of having children. However, sometimes women that have the children with the guy who no longer wants to be with them still have feelings as well. So whether or not she has children with the guy, let her know how you handled the situation. Are you currently going through this right now? Let's continue the conversation down below because we all can learn from each other. And it also helps you understand that you are not alone in this thing. We all go through similar things.
Maybe not everybody, but there is somebody out there who has gone through this situation just like you.